Creating a Goal-Oriented Ecological Renaissance. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 106. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 51C3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 106, March 13, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week. Uh, with video and pictures, and if you like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, uh, tools, tutorials, resources, everything that we've created, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can join our email newsletter list by sending an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be acknowledged individually, created the initial setup of the Technology and Innovation Molecule web page, which you can see here. This is the beginning formatting for this subject page that will cover the greatest minds, inventions, and creations of all time, plus learning strategies, test-taking strategies, technology implementation, systems theory, and analysis, and more. Behind the scenes, we also finished the rest of the written design for the lesson plan we're working on with the central theme of civilization, and Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, also finished another 30% of the image creation for the Civilization lesson plan. This brings us to 50% complete there, and when complete on the site, this lesson plan will teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central Civilization theme. In addition to all this, we featured the time lesson plan this week using this beautiful creation from Paige. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source beets hub. We also did this for our food forest canopy plantings hub. And we also researched and added the final major component to the open source coal crops hub. Recipes! You can see these new additions here. We also did this for the open source celery hub. These first recipe lists will grow as our food experts continue the process of designing the food self-sufficiency transition plan. Speaking of food experts, Benjamin Sessions finished all the recipes and images for the first half of week four of the transition plan. You can see these four new recipes here, along with one he completed last week. In support of diversity, all these recipes are omnivore recipes that can easily be made vegan too. The purpose of all of these, remote village creation menu details until food self-sufficiency is achieved. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, 
and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing continued laying out the specifics for the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly details behind the scenes. These are part of the Earthbag Village and the crowdfunding campaign plan, and new updates included cutting lumber and labeling pieces for two nightstands and assembling the nightstand frames. What you see here is all this behind the scenes work in progress. We estimate we are now 55% complete with what is needed for the website. Also behind the scenes, we finished the first 10% of the Earth Dome Loft construction tutorial specifics. In addition to this, Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team finished the final CAD input details of the Earthbag Village Shared Accommodations Three Dome Cluster designs you see here, ADA version of this Three Dome Cluster you see here, and the final window placement edits needed for the six dome clusters that you can see here. Dave Wallen, architectural drafter and designer and owner of Dave Philip Wallen Design, finished a complete redesign of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 entryway that you can see here. He also redesigned the central area so that it is built with straw bales like the rest of the village, and he additionally has been working on the plumbing specifics, which you can see the beginnings of here. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team completed another 50% of the thermostatic shower valve and heat lamp energy and water savings open source page. This brings us to 60% complete and shares the work of Ron Payne, mechanical engineer and HVAC thermal designer. When finished, it will be a complete and open source resource for our research and rationale for using this hardware for saving money and increasing safety in both the Duplicable City Center and the Earthbag Village. For this area of the project, we are seeking a structural engineer and a general contractor. The structural engineer is somebody that we're seeking to help us design the cupola so it can be built without a crane, which is very important for our open source goals and duplication anywhere in the world. And the general contractor is needed for assistance in conjunction and collaboration with P2S Engineering, who is helping us with the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing section of this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week the core team finished three months of collaboration and structuring of what home ownership will look like at one community. This includes the details of how residents on vacation will be able to earn rental revenue, what home sales will look like, what a home share will represent for those joining after we own the property, how home shares will be able to be used for earning revenue too, and more. Visit the Becoming a Community Member page for complete details. Jin Hua, internet marketing expert and web developer, also finished the video that goes with the overview that you see here. What he's created is an amazing tutorial for translating any page of our site into another language. The video is done and edited and we'll be making a complete translation page to teach people how they can do this amazing work. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is creating a goal-oriented ecological renaissance. Our idea is to make the idea of ecological living easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough so that the concept will spread on its own. And the way that we're doing that is by open sourcing and free sharing all of the foundations necessary to combine physical sustainability with emotional sustainability and to create a holistic approach to ecological living that anybody can duplicate. The open source foundations that we're focusing on first are food, energy, housing, education, for-profit, non-profit business creation, fulfilled living models, as well as true earth stewardship. And we're putting all of these elements together 
so that they can be combined, open sourcing them so that they can be combined as a complete teacher demonstration community, village, city, or hub that can be built anywhere in the world. And in the process of open sourcing them, we're also making them so that they can be implemented individually. So the idea is, and what we've done is we've assembled a team of highest good consciousness people, people that are thinking for the highest good of all of humanity and willing to volunteer and donate their time. We're all unpaid nonprofit volunteers. So willing to donate and volunteer their time to creating highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, economics, for-profit, nonprofit, business creation, fulfilled living, and truer stewardship, putting all this information out there so it can be implemented as either individual components or the complete teacher demonstration hubs with the idea that everything that we create is a step in the right direction. Moving humanity closer and closer and creating that goal-oriented ecological renaissance through a self-replicating model. Self-replicating because we know if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, the idea will self-replicate because people want what it is that we're creating. Because it can provide a way of living, a standard of living, an experience of living that most people will consider far superior to the way that they're living right now. And this is the ecological renaissance. The goal-oriented aspect of it is people wanting the goal of a better life for themselves, and then in achieving that security, that safety, that, that way of living for themselves, having enough to be able to share it. And so the ultimate goal is the total and complete transformation of life on this planet as we know it, creating a world that works for everybody. Because we can, because the resources exist, the brain power exists. All that's needed is the desire, the will, the participation. And so our goal as an organization is to create that tipping point so that the idea of a goal-oriented ecological renaissance will fuel itself. It will become an engine for transformation that, that perpetuates itself, spreads itself, propagates itself. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds worthwhile to you, if this sounds like a noble adventure, something that you'd like to participate in, we're constantly growing our team of elite professionals. We're bringing on new people all the time, and this is your invitation to join us. Get involved in what it is that we're doing. We're looking for people to join us as the pioneers that will move onto the property and actually live at one community and help build the initial teacher demonstration hub and village that will spark this renaissance and fuel it and get it all started. Or we're looking for the partners and consultants that want to just join us and donate their time from behind the scenes. Other ways that you could help, we are still seeking large-scale funding right now. So if you're somebody that knows somebody that is interested in things like this or knows groups that would like to that are that are funding organizations like ours or that might want to donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization the number one thing that could take our project to the next level right now is getting the property off the market. We've chosen a property, we've been working with it for 4 years, it took us 2 years to find it and there's a lot of things that we can't do because that property is still on the market. But if we could get it off the market, we could share the location. We could get boots on the ground and get people out there doing site surveys and details that would allow us to take our whole open source creative process to the next level and would allow us to open source the process of taking it to the next level, which is something that a lot of people need right now. People have no idea how to start, and so we've got this, this massive information uh, creation that we've created, which is like the second step, but we can't really engage the first step that most people normally engage, which is how to identify a property and that kind of stuff. We can't open source that and how to take it to the next level until we have the property off the market. So if you know somebody, this is your invitation to help us with that. And also, if you even if you don't know somebody, the second way that people can really help us or the way that anybody can help one community right now is by sharing our information through social media. We are on all the different social media networks. Sue is our favorite social media network, but we are on Facebook, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, and about 10 or 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to share our information. If people don't know that we exist, then it's harder for us to expand. You know, we've created all these resources, sharing these resources in social media, getting the word out there so that people that need the information that we've created, that want the resources that we have designed, sharing it is the way to get those into the hands of the people that need it most and help us spread the word. So, you know, this idea of creating global or a goal-oriented ecological resistance, a resistance, a goal-oriented ecological renaissance is um, the time has come. Arguably never before in history, well, no, quite unquestionably, never before in history have we had the ability 
to coordinate, collaborate, cooperate globally like we do right now. Thanks to the internet, we are reaching out. We have people on every continent that are contributing to our project and helping move us forward. And so for everybody that's following our project, for everybody that sends us emails, for everybody that sends us small donations, the 5 and $10 donations, these are the things that keep us moving forward. None of us are paid. We're all unpaid volunteers. And, uh, and so we're really grateful for the participation that we see from the public, from people sharing our information, helping us get the word out. And, uh, you know, we will continue to move forward. So thanks for following our project. Uh, check out our written blog if you'd like more details, more specifics on what it is that we are doing and the accomplishments for last week. If you'd like to see all of our past blogs. Also, uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And as always, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.